Welcome, my name is Salman, and I am here today to talk to you about my toys. And, uh, what do you know? It's another Batman. I swear at some point the show will do something other than Batman. Today I'm here to talk to you about 2012's Mattel Stealth Fusion Batman. Now, uh, on the surface this looks like yet another Four Horsemen sculpted giant line beef shoulder Batman. I don't know what football things are. Linebacker? This was Batfleck before Batfleck. I don't know why. I mean, other companies had no problem making him look properly proportioned. Mattel's figures were just, like, huge! And this one's pretty huge. It's eight inches tall. It's pretty big. And, um, you'll notice he doesn't appear to have any articulation. He's got his head, doo -doo -doo, little fabric cape, and, uh, that's about it. Well, my collection consists largely of things that interest me personally, so I'm not gonna get every single figure in line, just certain ones, and then, uh, oddities. And this thing is certainly an oddity. To my knowledge, Mattel only made two figures like this. One was with their uh, DC Universe Classics Swamp Thing. He was maybe 10 inches tall, and he was covered head to toe in rubber. The other one was this one. And it's a weird choice. The figure is, uh, he's rubbery. I mean, look at these, look at these little hands. Boop, boop, boop. And he has an articulated body under there. But the um, thing about rubber is uh, kind of gets in the way of things moving. Like, ugh, trying to move his legs here. And sure, on the shelf it makes for a clean figure, but if you're trying to get any kind of posing out of him, it won't work. And also, it tears. It looks, looks terrible. Ha ha ha! Oh god, that was bad. I'm sorry. I apologize. That was the second worst thing I've ever done. Um, but the figure itself, he has what feels like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're gonna say fifteen points of articulation. He has a split on the waist here. Oh, sixteen points. I never even realized that. Got two pieces of rubber coming together there. And, uh, there's no way I could recommend this though. I got this for twenty bucks online. And because I was curious, I really was. I had seen some reviews about him, but I cannot in good conscience recommend this. This thing certainly was an experiment. And like many experiments, it was a failure. Now, there's ways I think that Mattel could go with this, this you know, smooth line rubber look going forward, but I think they would have to make a few alterations to the formula. And, you know, going with this armor bat look, there's certain things I think they could have done that could have really gotten some articulation out of the figure without really sacrificing the whole rubber thing. Put in a little split hands right there, maybe? Rotation there? And then, uh, have the arms as a separate piece. I mean, that one would be easy to do. You have this hard chest piece here. You could pop in some, some balls there. Have these as a separate piece. You could get almost full range of articulation out of the arms there without sacrificing the smooth look. And it's funny, the one area they did put a seam is very obvious, just right across the middle. Yeah, so, Stealth Fusion Batman. I don't know what it was supposed to be fusing with. I don't know what the stealth is exactly. I mean, looking at him, he's just, he's just Batman. And, not a very good Batman of that. So, um, well, I've been Salmon, and uh, these have been my toys, and, uh, Look back into hearing from you soon. All right. Bye. I don't know how to end these things. Please let me go. Oh God, is this how they felt? Oh God! <laughs>